What's up, what's up, what's up? Once again, it's on. Brought to you by CasaTheRock.com, the Smoking Word Podcast. You know how we're doing it. We're always coming at you every Thursday, unless there's some natural disasters and all that other shit. But um, we are back. Brought to you by CasaTheRock.com. You know the drill. That's the merch store. If you want to support the movement, we have a lot of new shit. As a matter of fact, I want to shout everybody who's been supporting the movement since jump and also everybody who's been making orders. You know, we had a, we had a good weekend. We just played um, Tampa and Melbourne. Shout out to South Florida. Shout out to Florida in general. Um, everything went very smooth. And for everybody out there who wants to know what time it is, um, Florida's cracking, you know, and um, it's, it feels good to live. So shout out to everybody, you know, who came out to those shows and um, been supporting cop and merch. And shout out to everybody who made orders during the weekend. Um, hold your horses. We coming. And um, remember, all T-shirts, $21. We're celebrating 2021 like that. You know, again, shout out to my Patreon family. We growing daily. And, and you motherfuckers know how we're going to do it. You've seen the coming attractions. We have a lot of shit planned. But definitely, I want to shout out you guys for for investing in, in the time killing show. I want to shout out my Patreon family for representing and supporting the movement. We got a lot of big things planned. My Patreon fam already knows we got that smoking word TV on some next level shit. Everybody, we're going to be dropping stuff very soon with that. So look out. But definitely, if you want to support the Smoking Word podcast, invest in the show, get down with the Patreon. We got four tiers. If you don't know the deal, I'm explaining for you dinosaurs. For $2, $5 and upwards, you could support the Smoking Word podcast. I got like behind the scenes shit, videos, all types of shit. You get different tiers and basically it keeps the show going. So if you like the show, keep investing. Or just keep listening. And if you don't want to invest, that's cool in the gang. But make sure to subscribe and subscribe. I and mean, it's free. So this is for you cheap motherfuckers. Subscribe, spread the word, hit that like button. You can support without throwing loot, you know, in the mix. But if you balling and you think you got it like that, or if you had the privilege to be working during this COVID fuckery, support the movement. Not just the fucking smoking word, but all our underground movements. But, um, the smoking um patreon.com slash the smoking word podcast. Patreon.com slash the smoking word podcast. That's where you go and support the movement and invest in the smoking word podcast. Again, one love to my Patreon family. We about to take this shit to the next level. And again, I want to give a big shout out to the Patreon family. I want to shout out Robin the Work. I want to shout out Dave, what, Mr. Dave Brady, Danielle Brom, you know what's up, taking them pictures, always making me look good, uh, Fredericio, aka Clint, Eastwood, what up, Clint, Belinda, what's up, New York Hardcore, what's up, Rob Browning, what up, and Dan Steely, what up, and I want to shout out also the fam, I'm going to be um posting some more of this, but um the fam at, um, I think you call it Heaven and Earth or Heaven Earth. Um, basically, it's a gi company and a, a jujitsu company from South Florida. A bunch of hardcore kids got they They actually hooked me up with a couple of gis. I'll be posting it. And they have a lot of dope stuff, a lot of good quality stuff. And if you're into the jujitsu game, everybody knows I'm a big fan, a big lover. And um, so go check them out on Instagram, um, Heaven Earth. I'll be posting it, so look out for them and um, support the movement. Remember, it's all about supporting our movement. So get down with the get down. And on this episode, and on this episode, I wanted to bring my boy. It was the right time to bring him on. We were talking about coming on the show for a minute. When I saw him at the show in New York City a couple of weeks ago, it just made, you know, it just... 
embedded the shit that it had to happen sooner than later. So without further ado, the one man gang, my bro from Dirty Jersey, Stick Man. Let's set this shit off. I'll have you hear me. I hear you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Now we can. Oh, stick man we are i officially welcome you to the smoking wizard podcast my brother <laughs> yeah i appreciate it man what's good man yeah nah, nah listen you know i've been you know i had you on deck already i was like i gotta get this guy on on the show and then you know the way everything fell into place i was like oh i got i i need to get him you know in general just no, just because no. of the lay of the land now it's so crazy and oh my god dude it's crazy out there bro but anyway, first of all, what you, what, what's up with you right now? What were what, what you working? What you were doing? What's the deal? Like, yeah, or, you know, I, I, I scat before living, you know, union, union guy. You first know? of all, let me just tell you, I get heart attacks sometimes looking at your fucking Instagram when you motherfuckers are hanging, balancing. You know, first of all, I, being that big, I'd be too shook to be balancing on these little beans. But you got some good balance and all that shit. Listen, the way the way I got through it was like. I'm never going to make this money anywhere else. Yeah. You know? So, you know, you have to weigh down a scale, you know, like no, fear yeah. or, or living. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I feel you. I feel <laughs> you know, but that I mean, shit is like, whoa, yo, I don't know, like catching arrows with my teeth or doing your job is almost on the same platform for me. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, every day is a chance I could die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like one, one, one perfect oh. job for you. Perfect job. You, you, you like shit that keeps you on your toes. I know keeps you on your toes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure to strive for living. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I've heard that some um, recent somebody else. They were like, yeah, I like jobs with a little bit, you know, you know, I think it was cuz of somebody talking about working with electricity. They're like, yeah, I like the idea of, you know, it's a little dangerous. Well, also, well that aspect also keeps you focused. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't, you can't, like my job, you can't get on a scaffold and be like, oh, my life sucks. My wife is cheating on me. You know, you, you can't, you can't have that thought process because you will fall or get hurt, you know, or kill somebody else. So your, your mind is just focused. At Mega the, focus. Uh, hell yeah. On the task at hand. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I like it a lot. And that's why, you know, I, I mountain bike a lot. It gives me the same the same head clearing, you know, like that uh, keeps it me makes focused. you focus into uh, it makes you focus into one thing and not let your brain fucking get the best of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it actually, you know, relieves stress, depression. You know, my my well, my job doesn't relieve stress all the time, but you know, most of the time when you're when, when you're in it, you're you're not thinking about anything but the job. You know. So yeah, and that's and that's what I was gonna say. I know you were doing it. You know, first of all, I know you. You know. You just like need like a lot of dudes in our world, they're extreme dudes and do yeah. and girls. I don't mean, you know, now nah, I'm putting a disclaimer on things, but you know <laughs> what I mean? But uh, but, you know, we have extreme personalities, so that's why we look for for stuff like that. But for a fact, on top of, you know, that helping that for sure with the, the anxiety and depression, that shit definitely helps because, you know, we all hit that shit. You know what I mean? And if, if yeah. some of you. You know, especially if it, it hit it hit me during this whole shit. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I was uh I I was like super depressed last year. I mean, I have depression. I'm not like diagnosed by a doctor, but you know, self evaluations. You know, I got all that. Yeah. ADD, all, you know what I mean? Bipolar. I, I, you know me. I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, and and most people that really know me know that you know they understand my crazy. Yeah, of course, of course. You a lot of us, also, we wouldn't be fam this long because well, you either yeah. we learn to accept our, you know, our faults, and right. and you know we look for the you know there's more important shit than you know. We, yeah, you but, ain't the first hothead. I know we all hotheads, and well, oh. at least in ours, you know, in our on the our umbrella, you know. No, but last year was very depressing. You know, it's getting better now that it opened yeah. up. Like, and and that show in New York City was like the rude awakening this friggin' world needed dude i'm still gassed over that oh, show <laughs> that show was like probably one of the best hardcore shows that i've been to ever yeah like 
be honest right. with you. I'm not even I'm not even making that up. I've been going to shows to the 80s sure. and, and the 80s mean a lot to me because that's where it started for me. Yeah. And those were way different back then. And you know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Energy was always high. But that's how it felt. But a hundred times more, you know, it was cool to see all of the people we know around us up here, <laughs> but it was out there. You know what I mean? And that was yeah. all, just feeling it and vibing and, and wow. insane. It I was, know that was hardcore that day was so <laughs> hardcore. Like whoever missed it, you're a retard. Yes. You, you needed your mask. You needed two shots. You're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> go to the fucking show, bro. That show was top notch. I didn't even want to go home. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It was so crazy. And this is another reason why, you know, I wanted to even talk to you because I know your thoughts on the lay of the land today because we came up at the same time. Although I'm in it from the band thing, so I seen the little steps. I understand it ain't like the same way we came up. It definitely no. rolls. You know, there's different. It was more um, in those days, a little bit more um, it was, you, you, from jump. It was deep rooted because you got to invest in each other. Yes. You know, you, yo, yes. that's Jersey. OK, so we're going to go to Jersey. I'm going to call Jersey. So you make it a thing. OK, they're going to meet us here and they're going to pick us up. Then they're going to drive us there. Or your Jersey's coming to New York or this. Right. You know, you kind of invest, not just like you now on the computer. You kind of know or oh, the play. They hang out here. The le- you even got the club, the picture of the club, how many people it holds, where the people usually hang out. You know, they got yeah. the research on everything now. It's no, different. I don't like that. It seems too this, too that. They don't go experience meeting people. Right, right. You more all, organically. You know, well, the, the the newer generations are already social distanced already. This whole, this whole, this whole concept that yeah. just happened, this COVID thing, it, not that I'm cons- a conspiracy guy, but it's, it's about control, but not control for us because you can't control us. You know what I mean? We're, we're going we're gonna to stand up against you eventually. It's more for the youth and the generations to come. You know what I mean? That are already in exactly. that mindset of social distancing. You know, yeah. now, now they got the mask thing. You know, they, they got the control. You know, they got that vibe yeah. out there. And they can't control me and you. You know that. Exactly. You know, people... As, as, that have our kind of background and are just very in your face. And you know what I mean? And we're going to question everything you do if it don't feel right to us. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And and the thing with you, like, I understand, like, your state of mind, how the newer, the way the newer generation clicks, because I know it's, again, different. But you felt what I, what you just said before was to make my point. That that feeling was there in the building when I had Mr. Negative view on today's hardcore vibe. Right. You were like, no, look at your re- I could tell, you know, we all feel like we got a bolt of energy, you know, yeah, from it, that, like a little more hope on like, oh, OK. Yo, it really it really uh, made me feel really good. You know, you know, I'm 53 now. You know what I mean? And I, and I matured a lot. You know, I'm still a kid at heart, but, you know, like I have more responsibilities. I'm married. I own a home. I got a good job. You know, I just can't go on tour and do all that stuff. But, yo, I really felt like I was a kid again. And you saw you see I the saw video. it. You got me. I was getting amped looking at you. You know what I mean? Like I I was like. I think I went harder than Rap Bones. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you did. You were hey, definitely I'm like tied to Rap Bones. And, and Rap Bones is, you know, that's the man. Yeah, I mean, me, me and Rat Boys, we came up together, you know, from, from in Jersey, you know. Yeah. And, uh, it, it was good when we were both. I, I saw the video of me and him both on the stage. I'm like, yo, me and this dude been through some shit. And look at us now. We're still doing the same shit. And it was yeah, awesome. Yeah. And it you know awesome. what I love? And you know what I loved? Also, a big. You know, big part. First of all, like I t- I say it a billion times. I was like, you know, that I was like, that's our that was our show from the person standing all the way in the back, or the even from the person looking online rooting right. for it. It was right. our show. Now, it wasn't a mad bull show. It wasn't just a B and B. It was a it was a for hardcore. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it was, was for hard- our every, it was for everything we live for. Historic, bro. I'm so glad I was there. Oh, and- me too. And, and whoever missed it and whoever, you know, try to paint it ugly, man, you're just an asshole. You, yeah. you missed out on a really, really Beautiful. dope show. And it was just 
family. It just, the vibe was just awesome, man. I haven't felt like that in years about music in a long time, man. I I know the thing that killed me. The, you know, forget all, but again, the you know, I don't even want to harp on. We all heard the, all the drama and all the shit they say, but the funniest part, you know, when they were like trying to make it a whole like a a, a, a white guy thing. In reality, was I I noticed it during Wisdom. I was like, I haven't, I don't think I've seen that many black punk rock and hardcore yes. kids yes. ever in one yes. spot. Not for the was, bad brains, it was not so, for fucking anybody. It was so diverse. It was insane. You it know, was, the, I saw the one kid ju- kept on jumping on stage. The, 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 the black dude with his, he was filming himself. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, jumping off, like, jumping off. Everything. Like, Filipino was, kids when I was, uh, you know, all these black, and I was like. Girl, like, there was mad girls, like, mosque. I, I mean. The it girls was, held it down. I was like, the, the biggest gorillas and the smallest girls walling. That's what I, that's that. Yo, you couldn't. No problems. Yo. No fights. No, just love. love I know. Music. Everybody that was there was there for the love. <laughs> Of music and hardcore and you guys and blood clot and wisdom and chains and Murphy's Law and yes. set it off and yes. spark. You guys yes. caught you lit the fuse that went all the way to LA, bro. And yeah. that they were bonkers over there. Yeah, shout out to LA. I would <laughs> love that shit. Awesome, bro. They they always they uh, LA always had that culture that that backyard do it yourself like yes. oh well, this is for many many years we yes. know that and i'm yes. glad and, and you know what i was hoping yo that shit start popping up everywhere but then two days after we did it um oh yeah, everybody could have shows now then it was not no longer now everybody's okay, it's cool to talk about which show you bought your tickets to but mm-hmm. if you had the mad bull show you know, you want you yeah know. You, i set it off man wisdom but, change set it off. Yeah, i mean that's so, what i was gonna tell you what i wanted to get into was how dope was, and I even told Richie and Joe that, besides being, I love them as people and as a band, because they're a real hardcore band, yes. and they're spotting it, like, and I know how they, not that they live that shit, that they weren't even on the bill originally, and how, like I said, if you believe in God or not, I do, I don't care if your God has 10 arms like John Joseph, or is a fat guy, you know, Smiley Buddha, whatever it is, the forces what made this happen. The yes. people that live this shit, that really want this shit to, that bleed this shit, the forces pushed everybody who could be there physically to that spot, yeah. and they were there. And everybody were, else who went through the things, they weren't supposed to be there. Yep, yeah, I agree. Because I've seen a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time. I'm talking old school from the 80s, nine, early 90s. I'm like, wow, this brought yeah. out some heads. Great, you know? yeah. Yeah, and, and, and again... Wisdom not being from New York because again it wasn't a new New York thing uh, it was a hardcore thing it was everybody and on top of that they're one of my favorite bands so I was like it's a win and I was like that's what we need and I was like I, I was I told them a thousand times I go we couldn't script that day any better no no that was beautiful beautiful hand down the best hardcore show that ever went yeah. down and I'm I'm so glad I was there and yeah. we got a and we captured it, and people loved our little photo. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, oh yeah. I I told people I don't I don't talk this shit. Listen, podcast land, I don't talk that shit. I do that shit. I said I wanted to hug this motherfucker for like a year and a half. I got my yeah. hugs worth. Yeah, it was awesome, dude. It was awesome day, man. You guys yeah. played, man. Heavy, my favorite song, and I got to do my stage dive and a little motion. Oh like, yeah, oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna make that uh, shit a gift. A stage. <laughs> you already got gifts. I'm gonna make you another gift. <laughs> I learned that word from my son, gif. <laughs> and I'm um, fucking um, but now it was, you know, it was like um and and during the whole before that, what all you were doing was writing as far as to do something for yourself, right? You yeah. you, you don't really travel like vacation vacation, right? No, nah, we me and me and the wife go to California every once in a while. Right. You know, but we we got married in California in, in September. Oh dope, dope, congrats. And we move out there. And uh, it's fucked up out there, man. Like, uh, there's a lot of homelessness and, like, you know, it, right. you know, they're, they're kind of similar to our state with the whole COVID crap. And, you know, I just, I just like, I'm just going to stay here until we figure something out better, you know? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. No, I, hell yeah. I travel much, you know, just, just ride, 
my bike and work really, you know what I mean? And I do some features here and there, you know, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we, you know, we're working, we're trying to get the Fury of Five reunion popping this year. So, you know, we, I was talking to Anthony from E-Town and, you Shout know. out to Ant. I'm gonna. I want that. I'm Ant's gonna be on this show, pot party people. So look out for that. And but that's what I was gonna ask you. You in contact with all the dudes, with all the Fury well, guys, uh, or some yeah. of them? Uh, everybody was reached out to, and uh, you know, me and Jay been been talking for a while, and and you Good know, shout out to my, Jay. Yeah, Jay Fury. That's my man. You know, I mean, yeah, I have my boy really with him for years, but you know, he's still the same dude. You know, we we. Mike's on board. Chico's on board. We try yeah. to get on board and uh, he doesn't want to do it. And, uh, you know, I, I personally would love to just sit down with him and talk to him because, you know, I had, you know, I have an ugly past. We all know this. I was crazy. When Fury mm-hmm. five, I, I was a loose cannon, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not that same guy anymore. Yeah. I hear you know? you. Like I, I'm a different person. I mean, the beast is still there. I but it's cr- I, yeah, you got you got a, you got a grip on that beast. I, for sure. on, I had a lot of closure in my life. You know what I mean? So like, you know, as 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 things as doors close, new ones open and I become, you know, smarter and wiser. And, and I understand myself a little better, man. I do a lot of introspecting, trying to figure things out to make myself a better person every day. You know, so I feel if I, you know, if I sat down with Chris and we politicked and, and just, you know, kind of came to some, you know some terms I, I i think make it work yeah it, it, it would work i think you know what i mean i mean for me personally to do the reunion for the way i want to do it for like closing a chapter in our lives and just saying goodbye and all that he has to be in it you know what yeah. i mean oh I, I you know we we i asked Riggs. Riggs is definitely down to do it and if that goes that way that's how it's going to go but i still Want of course the core. You know, I really want that, you know what I mean, and 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 I want to make it like you know, big, you know what I mean. I'm gonna bring in members that weren't got kicked out, the new members that I did it with in 2014. You know, even Doc, I did, you know, I had a podcast with Doc, yeah. and I told him I said, yo, you, you can come up and, and, and pick your favorite song and play too, and we, and we do it like that, you know what I mean, and just. Yeah. You know, yeah, like a, celebrate like a party. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Party and say goodbye to the, the people that really loved it. We never, you know, we broke up in 98 and just went oh, away. We didn't, and you know what I'm saying? We played the last show, the live as well, I think it was. Yeah, a lot and, of you guys uh, disappeared. You know, you were always around. I always caught, you know, I always had a tab on you. But like, Jay, I ain't talked to Jay in years. You know, that was my boy too. I mean, I mean, talked to him. I, I haven't seen a, a physical picture of my man since back in the day, you know, he ain't even crazy. He's been, uh, he's been power lifting. He's pretty, pretty. He was, I was going to say, oh, hamburger he's helper. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got his weight up. But, oh, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. what happened was, you know, the, the story goes, you know, we had a lot of internal problems because I was a head case. You know what I mean? I take total yeah. responsibility for the downfall of the band because I, I, you know, I had a vision. I had a dream. I had, you know, I had, things that I want to achieve. And if you weren't on board and your yeah. heart didn't match mine, you, you seen it in yeah. Albany. Yeah. When I, you know, I used to attack Chris like a savage, you know what I mean? And, you know, and I look back on it now, you know, listen, do I regret it? No, I had to go that path to make things happen. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't have regrets. I am sorry that I did that to yeah. him. You know what I mean? Because, but these are the things that keep the legacy of the band alive as facts you know as as bad as they sound you know what i mean so yeah. it is what it is i have no regrets i'll never have no fucking regrets you know what i mean i, yeah. I always learn from the past and, and 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 move forward you know but i i would love to just sit down with him and just you know say i'm sorry you know yeah. i apologize to a lot of people that i yeah. feel deserved it you know what i mean I, yeah you know I, I did a lot of bad things to people and if i felt they needed an apology I did that because you know why? Because I'm a man. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what a man does. You know what I mean? You, you, you made a mistake. Listen, I apologize, man. I hope you can forgive me. If you don't, I understand. We, yeah. We on, and that's that. You know what I mean? I, I, I really think if I sat down with Chris, I think it would come to maybe terms. You know, no, no. Yeah. He was a big part of the band. Hell and, yeah. And you know, I, 
listen, I know that. And worst comes to worst, we do it. We shook night them. We uh, vanilla ice them off the roof. Nah, nah, I'm talking shit. <laughs> I, try, I try to stay away from that. Dude. I know that. That's why I said I. I put myself in so I could be the bad. Yo, but you know? if you're gonna do it, I gotta be there too, dog. All right, back, bro. I'll get the camera and we'll make a podcast around it. Yo, let's see if we could like. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Chris. Come on. Yo, but no, but for real. You know, like, honestly, you know. No, I like, know, I know. I feel you. And that's dope because, you know, the, first of all, it's dope that, and I'm in the same boat. Like, it's crazy. You get to an age. Well, some people, we all get to the age where you can either start saying, yo, you not give a fucking, yeah, I admit when I'm wrong because we were all hard-headed dudes. Or you could be yeah. the dude that still says, fuck that. Now they become they hold all that shit in and they become this bitter old person with a bunch right, of right, pent up shit right. and regret. Who wants, who wants to go out like that? Stress you know kills. I mean? Stress you know? kills before anything. Just like like you, you and Beto are talking again. That, that's so no. like awesome to me. You don't even know how happy that made me because yeah. he always spoke highly about you and never... Yeah, ever, they, even that era, that. you know, it's, it was funny with that era with the band, the hold it down era in general. Right. You know, even with Darren or whatever, that was a, a, a one of the that's the, the one of the albums people always go to is the Hold It Down album. So there's a lot of history on that album. There's also a, a, no. A, a, it's funny because Darren recently sent me um because I have no pictures. I had a couple because back then it was before Instagrams, the kids out there and all this shit. So we, you know, we had um you know pictures that people that had cameras would give us, and I had right. a flood. All that shit got lost. You know, oh. nothing was. And then Darren recently, because I saw him at that show, too. I seen Darren pop up here and there or whatever. But I, I seen him that day and then he hit me up and said and he said he had some photos. So right. he sent me that. I seen the, these photos little by little. I'm going to drop them. But right. I haven't seen since then because I literally didn't. We don't even have them. You know what I mean? It's right. like you couldn't even Google them. Some of these right. pictures it's crazy. Well, like but like your 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 situation with Beto is the same like me and Chris, you know what I mean? And you guys got past it, you know. Yeah. Now, now now you guys are uh, on on good terms, and it's awesome. And I think the same thing can happen for us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know, I'm not that guy anymore, man. Like you know, I, you know, is can I be James Isme? Of yeah. course. But he's so buried, you know what I mean? Like you know, I'm not angry no more. My life yeah. is, you know what I mean? Like. And, and I'm let, I let a lot of things go. And like I said, every day I try to be better than I was yesterday, man. And that, and that's all I can do. You know what Hell I mean? Yeah. But let and me ask fun. you this. Ain't it crazy that you think I, when I was 20, 25, 30, I wouldn't say, yeah, man, I was fucking, yo, I had, you know, I had anxiety attack, you know, like what, what I had fucking during, you know, this COVID shit was the first time I had a fucking like, what you know my mom's passing and just right. life caught up to me and everything where i was bugging out that's why you know i had to get my shit together and then it set me on track but when i i'll talk about it now and not give a fuck but i'm also a grown-ass man i got two kids and i, I never gave a fuck but right. you know i whatever but you know when we were younger some people don't want you know especially guys like us we like what we're gonna say oh we had a moment of weakness no we don't right. say that yeah I, I i just addressed that on the other podcast because like a lot of people didn't know when Fury of Five was in, you know, in the beginning and, and, and growing, I had anxiety really bad. I used to go to the hospital for it all the time. And I didn't know what the hell was happening to me. I just thought I was dying, having a heart attack. Heart attacks and shit, yeah. Even with a show, I'm coming back from Albany, QE2. We got to a rest stop, yo. They had to take me back to Albany in an ambulance. Mm. You know what I mean? Bugging out, yeah. I, you know? But, you know, that's from that's from holding things in and not letting it out and speaking it out and hearing it and learning from it. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I try to tell people about mountain biking, because it clears your head totally. You're only focused on what's ahead of you. Yes. You know, going up a hill, down a hill, over a root, over a rock. You know what I mean? So you don't have time to think. It really clears your head. And then you can really focus on other things like, oh, man, yeah. wow, that now I understand. Yeah. Why I'm mad. You know what I mean? So it's outlets, crazy. You need outlets. You know what I mean? But music was an outlet because I had depression. So I used anger to cover that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the more anger that I let out, the less depression I had. And yeah. I didn't know how the, much depression I had until Fury broke up. 
And mm. then my whole world. You had to find out. Like, you had to find the way like, to let it out. Yeah. Like you just said, here I am. I'm the toughest, one of the toughest guys in the 90s hardcore scene ever. You know what I mean? Like one of the toughest dudes. Now, here I am, a broken man, crying by myself, yeah. hearing songs and like tears. Yeah. I had, I'd be working jobs. I had to walk away, go to Porter John High and just break down, oh, yeah. break down. Now, who do I go to? Whose shoulder do I lean on? You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. How do I go in front of all these people who think I'm the scariest dude that ever did it? Exactly. I, them, I need help. You know what I mean? It, it, it was a long battle and it took me a long time to even ask for help. But then I got the help and then, I, you know, I got into the God thing for a little while. Yeah. And it's not like I don't believe in God. I'm just not that religious like that. But you know what I mean? I have, my yeah. own, you know, but, you know. Yeah, the same thing that with me, like I said the same thing. And that's what I tell people without getting into religion, but using it where you just took it with the same thing with helping you. Right. When, when you cut that out, if you don't believe in nothing, it's like you're cutting out hope. I take religion as you could take it with your religion and put it as however you want. Jesus, whatever. I was raised Catholic, but whatever, whatever. But I said to me, look at it as hope. I hope this is good. I hope this would happen. I hope if this is fine, I hope this, this seems like morals and life I want to live by. And right. the minute you eliminate that. You have no hope when the minute you leave it in the hands of science in that regard. Right. There's no more hope because science cannot um 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 it doesn't have the answer for everything. It don't have the answer. It, it can't doesn't. it doesn't have the answer how this all started. So yeah. I don't believe science at yeah, all. Yeah, you know, you it's know like, what I mean? like you know, that when 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 science is telling me that a vaccine is better than my immune system, yeah, I call bullshit. The, the, yeah, yeah, my yeah, body yeah. heals itself. I don't need a vaccine. What are you yeah. talking about? You know what I mean? My yeah. body is my vaccine. That's what keeps me healthy. If you keep your body healthy, you're going to be healthy. You know what yeah. I mean? That whole time, I never I wore agree. no mask. I never social distanced. I was just yeah. in a crowd of 3,000 people. Yeah. Fucking fine. Know why? Because I take care of myself. I eat right. I exercise. You know what I mean? And I yeah. keep my mind right. You yeah. know? For but sure. For sure. But it's, people it's, don't want to do that. But whatever. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It's it's crazy. And um, it's kind of going it's the it's i'm starting to see it more like that generation gap you know it's 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 really distancing itself from our generation before we were still in the mix we were like uncles no now we're becoming more more than just uncles we're further away almost right. like like older dads and the grandpa department to like well, these dudes don't even want to be acknowledge us like as a right. cool dad or a cool grandpa you know what i mean right. like that listen i saw something i was talking about it yesterday that fucking discuss like you know us playing these shows i see all the hate you know all the, that we expected to get all the bands on the bill that got the hate all right that's whatever that i swear don't phase me because if anything i feel the the best i've ever felt about and not just should. physically but i mean about being people like we are you yeah, know what i mean but- you know we 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 grabbed our shit and we let motherfuckers know how we get down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that department is good, but it's just like, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I, it's, 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 uh, it's sad in a lot of ways, but shit was refreshing in a lot of ways, you know, like, uh, eye opening in a lot of ways. And I just, t- I try to tell people, um, um, you got to look at things in a, you know, um, um, uh, the, the way people are now. All right. I was telling you about the lead thing. So, um, you know, I, I'm trying not to get into looking in all the negative shit because, again, right. why? So there was this um, I, I, on Instagram. I follow, you know, this graffiti thing. So there's this OG graffiti writer, Lee, who was in wild style. He did, you know, this guy's if you a graph writer, he's like the fucking, you know, he's a, a, a Mozart, you know, right. of music. He's one of the, the originators. He was in wild, all the original graph guys this guy was one of those guys so they have a they have a a, a video of him he's like doing some, he's in some art gallery like recently and he he's gonna cop a tag on on the you know on like a, they have like a mock train station so he does like some wild style tag old style tag but all right cool whatever he does it and i start reading the comments there's hundreds of comments and there's hundreds of comments of people just like yo this fucking toy Yo, old motherfucker, yo, give it up. Yo, you whack. 
yo, that shit is whack. Yo, you fucking suck. No, stop. I'm like, it's, but forget the disrespect, but it's like, no, you do what this guy invented. Right. It's well, well, respect is gone. That's 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 the thing. People don't have no respect for anything anymore. So right. like, so if there's no respect. You're going to get hate. You know what I mean? And the Internet changed all that because now you can't even find out who the haters are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I just got trolled on uh, on something I posted. Just, you know, I, 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 I try to get a rise out of people. And the dude, <laughs> yeah, Denny, no. Denny Diablo. I know. Like a wig. On. I got I got that. Yeah, yeah. We know. And, we know. And, and speaking like like Rick to life. And I'm like. Come on, man. Let it go. Dude. Yeah, I know. I know. I it's like, fuck you people, man. Like, come on, man. Let it go. Like, <laughs> why, you, 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 they got Danny Diablo's picture with, with these crazy looking dreads. And I'm like, these people, man. Yeah. I just, dude, I just block idiots like that. Now I don't even care, dude. Yeah. You know, you know what? Yeah. You know, it's a funny part that you, you know, we are automatically, we're like, you know, obviously it's cornball shit. And we're like, all right, that's, you know, some little kid shit. And no, some of these people are grown men and women. Grown, grown men. Yeah. probably dudes older than us, man. I know, and they fucking, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I like a good shit talking. You know, I don't never bite or throw something. I once in a while I throw a little jab just for fun, like, you know, right. like, you know, chum the water. Like, you know, come on. Get, get. But, you know, I, I, I don't like to get into it either because it's like, because it doesn't phase me. It really doesn't because no. those oh, motherfuckers just never were down with us. Got things thick skin and, you know what I mean? Like, we yeah. just know if it was a confrontation, or right in front of us, it's not going to go down like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I know in person, listen, that dude, I took his whole band, did nothing. Amazing. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, I was now, like, now, like, you know, it's a couple years later, and like me and Beto, we always tell Fred, like, because Fred got riffs, man. You know what of I mean? Of course. Like, Shout yo, out to Fred. Fred that's, that's, yo, that's my man. I love that dude. And we keep on telling them, yo, let's just start a band and call it Mess. Yeah, hey, that's a hot. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like, it, get, it ties you to what you used to do. So if you want to do those songs, you can. And you you get rid of the idiot. And I sound way better than the old singers. Yeah, so, you do. You do. You know and you got one thing and another thing that's just a fact that he isn't. You're real. You know, um, so right off the top. Um, so but you know what I mean? You know, I don't want to get all into him because oh, yeah, we, know, it, we know he's got a mental illness and yes. like, and like, you know, I I don't even, I, sometimes I even regret even doing the Healy's whack video and, and, and stuff like that, because, you know, it just added wood to the fire. And now this dude just runs rampant and he's got a mental illness and he's not going to do anything, but people keep him alive and uh, relevant. I, I just agree. Let, just let the flame go out. You know what I mean? And let him go agree. play. You know, it like it's over. You know, like I'm like 53. I, I don't yeah. want to, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I'm not trying to text and, and uh, write like comments and, and, and battle idiots. You know what I mean? Uh, it, uh, yeah, I, got asked, I got asked to, to do it. Of course, I'm going to do it. Cause Beto's my best friend. I love Fred. Of Seth course. is cool. Mike Hines is my boy. You know what I mean? And, and it, it, yo, and it was a good thing. And we, we did some things, you know what I mean? But then it ran its course. And, and I was- always knew you always hated that guy. So it was well, even, it made well, even more sense because you well, were like, man, you, you finally well, got to be your good. Well, that was your, I told you so to a lot of people. Why? Well, listen, what, when he was fronting that he was from New York City and he lived in Paris, that was my, and you know, I was always pro Jersey. Yeah. I yep. never, it like I was from New York City at all. This is this is what Double Double yeah. O loved about me because when he first met me, when I first got out, uh, he was like, "You, you're not like these dudes." I said, yeah. "Like, what do you mean?" He said, "Because you're yourself. You're not acting like you're from New York City like the other guys." Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not. You know, yeah. my original my original nickname was Jersey. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, and, I never know that. Yeah, that's the facts. When I used to come, you know, take the train. I used to snatch one of my brothers up to come to shows because nobody would want to go. They were scared. You know what I mean? Yo, they called me Jersey because I'd let people know that's where I was from, where everybody yeah. else would like, would kind of dance around. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. Because at one point when the whole New York hardcore thing was really popping, yeah, people didn't. But that's why yeah. I was glad when you came out, not just you guys, 
because I remember when Position of Power first came out. That's where I first I I saw I, I, we had chilled, and then I didn't see you for a minute. And the next time I saw you, I remember this perfectly. We were Studio One, and you were like, "Yo, what up?" I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't see you." And you're like, "Yo, check out my band," and you had the demo you gave me. Right, right, oh, it was right. The tape or something. It was with Position of Power. Right, uh, right. Uh, and then uh, what? And then the next thing I know, you know, we just were chilling, and the next thing I know, it was just like. Back to like we, you know, everybody meeting up with Papo, rest in peace, all the boys, yeah, and, you know, Papo. and it was the same crew of dudes. If demise you, them, all those guys, you know, just kind of that little network of people. And then you know, I was I got with Mad Boy, and then the Fury thing, and then we would do how we would always play together. You know what I mean? Always, always, and and we played with with Twenty Five to Life a lot, a lot, you know? all the time. You know, and but but everybody knew that I did yeah. not like him at all. You know what I mean? Like oh, I. Yeah. I knew- Fake. I always knew he's fine. You saved him that one time. Yes. At Oxy, after you guys had got jumped weeks or months before, and then we came there to take his back, and he dissed me from the stage, and yeah. I was gonna fuck him up yeah. outside, and you were like, "Stick, yeah. stick, let it go, bro." I know, I know. I that, that you say, I, and I want to say this right here. I re- my bad. I regret that, and I'm usually so the guy. I, I wanted to beat him down, and I knew, I knew he was. He, he was lettered up at the time, and I just didn't care because he disrespected us so bad yeah. because we were there for him. Yeah, and whack. That, that, that crazy rant from the stage, I wasn't having it. But out of respect for you and, and everybody, I was like, and you were like, stick, just let it go. We'll take care of it. And I was like, this motherfucker, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, oh, I wanted to get him that day at the Roxy, bro. I wanted to get him, dude. But, and, I, but yeah, but whatever. He, You know, that guy's... um. He got his by just being alive because to well, be alive like that is that's a curse in my book. Well, but, but look at that. Look at his rhetoric. Look what he look how he's speaking. He's so ignorant and just ir- irrelevant. Like, I don't even know why anybody even entertains anything he puts out there. You know what agreed, I mean? Agreed. 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 A billion percent. You know, but let me know. ask you this. What, whatever came out of the maybe the mess project or, or that idea of you guys well, working on some shit. We just saw Fred at the show, you know what I mean? And we told him, I'm like, yo, let's let's do it, but let's do it at Met. He don't like it. I don't think he like he 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 thinks it's gonna have like a, a spotlight effect on him. Gotcha, but you, it sounds dope. Yeah, Mess not. sounds dope. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's cool. It's a cool idea. And I get it with him, but but I because think that's so too, what he's I, known as. And that's he his, yes, right? and he yes. loves writing music. I know he does. does. Let me tell you, I'll tell everybody a fucking real fucking funny old story. You know, he's one of my, he's probably, not probably, yeah, but definitely one of my own oldest friends that I know for this amount of time that I still in contact with. You know what I mean? We were hanging out in the park. I'm talking about if we were 15 years, I, I was 15, 16 years old, something like that. And I remember this specific day, we're hanging out in our old park on 78th Street. I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm no older than 17 years old or some shit like that at the time. And it's a day, you know, a fucking school day or some shit. And it's like a rainy day. Nobody's really hanging out in the park. And there was a couple of guys. They all lived in the neighborhood. So we, I lived in Corona and, F- and Mask was hanging out. Fred was hanging out, but he lived in Astoria by the projects or whatever. And we were hanging out in Jackson Heights. So it was one of those nights. Nobody, everybody went home early and it's raining. And there's like a, you know, those uh, like those wooden things, like a jungle gym thing you could stand under or climb on. So it's raining. And I'm like, fuck, let, let me call my pops to see if he could come pick me up. And then he goes, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm waiting for my, my pops to come pick me up. And I looked at him and I go, your pops. Be- the reason why I said that, because at the time he had hair out to here and a full <laughs> fucking grown beard, not like long duck dynasty, but like thick grown in full beard and he goes yeah my dad is gonna pick me up so i said your dad i was like yeah, the fucking guy's a grown man and he was like and i go how old are you and i forgot what he was my age or whatever and he was like oh 15 16 i was like get the fuck out of here like i bugged out because he looked like a grown-ass man when we were little kids but then again fast forward that was dope same thing a couple of us joined bands and then some of us stood with bands that got to you know when we took it further, we got to, you know, do more shows together, out of state together, record records together. So, yeah. So, mess. I think mess is a great idea. Beto thinks it. Heinzer thought it was a great idea. 
So hopefully, you know, if, if he lets it sink in and, you know, because he definitely got riffs. Yeah. He got the, got the riffs that I like to sing over, you know, yeah. like that, that real. You, you do two songs, I say here. Mask, yo, you guys do two songs. That's it. So there's no heavy thing on your shoulders. Two songs and you drop it and then you see what's up. It makes noise, then boom. Yeah. It's the mask is born. You drop yeah. that mask. Yeah, and and it and it ties him to 25 to life. Yes. And he can do some of those songs that he likes. That he know? and he wrote. And he wrote. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And fucking um, I mean, all right, so but the fury shit. This is the shit about fury, so um. All right, so you're down if if homeboy don't want to play drums, Chris want to be on drums, or he's the only one that don't want to play, right? Yeah, as, as of now, he he did or, not. Or it just you know doesn't want. But if he doesn't, which I know that's the main way you wanted to pop off, that's you would be willing to, to do, like you said, maybe a Rick Ross, right, or something. Because yeah. Rick would murder, it, of course. But yeah, I mean, he, you would you would be down to do it if one guy is not in the in the mix. Yeah, I'm step, it's definitely still going to happen. You know what I mean? But I, like I said, I, I'd rather Chris, but Rick, Rick said definitely, he definitely down to do it, you know? Yeah, because right away we get, look at Jay, all you other, Chris, oh, come on, Chris. Listen, check yeah. this out, motherfuckers. Next black and blue, let's get that Fury of Five popping, motherfuckers. And, you know, like, you know, but sometimes you got to look past things and, and do it for the right reason. You know what I yeah. mean? Regardless of how you feel about me. Listen, you were part of something big. People still love it. You yeah. know what I mean? And you should be there. Regardless yeah. of how you feel about me. Yeah. Do our thing. Yeah. We get off stage and you go back to hating me or whatever you want to yeah, yeah. do. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, you know, you, you need closure in your life just like the rest of us. So you might as well do it. Have fun with it. Enjoy it and let it go, and then it's over. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, but so you, but let me ask you. People. No, but during this whole time, were you in contact? I know guys kind of not contact as close as before, but um, you did. I know a couple of you guys lost contact, kind of you know semi regularly with some of the dudes, right? For a while, oh, right? Talked to Jay for a little while, and then yeah. uh, he hit me up. He, he needed some real talk. So I gave him what he needed to hear, and we've been talking ever since. But I've always interacted with uh, Mike and Chico, okay, in a in a bad way for a while, and then um, because of the first time I did the Fury thing, I had to turn it to the Fury Jam because I didn't think anybody was interested in Fury of Five, but I always wanted to do it for the fans. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. there's people out there that absolutely love Fury of Five. Yeah, you know? definitely. And they're and then and they're a different breed of people that are not like into other things like yeah whatever. But you know, I, I you know I bumped heads with these dudes and you know a lot of shit went down and then I bumped heads with the, the other dude from Shadow Realm and he was on the internet talking crap and then uh you know I you, if I'm steadfast in I'm doing it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I did the Fury Jam. With, with with you know a bunch of dudes uh and then with doc doc was in that from you know god forbid and, and the bad wolves and all that and then 2014 mike was supposed to do it mm -hmm. you know and i don't know how he got deterred from doing it i don't want to say somebody was in his ear to you know and whatever but then he backed out and then i was like i'm doing this again you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You hyped it up, so then I, you know, I got Derek from Bushuda Code now. Their, their band is awesome. Yeah, dope. Uh, Dave Soda and uh, uh, my man uh, Sean, uh, you know, my my BFL brother and shit. And uh, you know, we put down an amazing show in 2014. Like for me, it was like probably one of the top Fury shows I ever did on the simple fact that it wasn't original members and the crowd reaction was insane. It was different. You yeah, know what I mean? The crowd was not like that violent where everybody was just yeah. trying to maim somebody like yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, it's but different. Like, it's different, yeah. It, it was definitely different, but uh, the sing-alongs and the amount of people that knew the material, 
I was like, yo, when we did Taking Respect and the whole place was like, it's not where you're from. I still get the chills when yeah. I watch the video of that because it was so amazing to me how, how like 20 years later, the band is still relevant. You know what I mean? And people love the lyrics because it was real. We were real people. You know what I mean? We were the same people on stage, off stage. Yeah. And we set it up here. We're going to say it down here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, you know, we were a people band. You know, we hung with the people. We didn't hang in the back room. We yeah. weren't, you know, we, we weren't, you know, smashing out chicks and hanging out. We, we were yeah. with the people. You know, we were in the crowd for the next band. We were hanging out. If with you're the, there for the music. For I sure. was there, there for the music. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like for you guys, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, there for the music. Hard, you know, hardcore is always just music in general has always been a part of my life. Whether it was metal, crossover, hardcore, punk rock. You know what I mean? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And rebellious. That's what I was into. You know. Hell but, yeah! And it's good that you got you because you know what the thing that also was. That's why I think it's also a good time for Fury because um one you know it it a lot of bands. A pop up and it's good because it's been long enough where it's like okay and you guys ne didn't play yourselves all this year like you did that one jam but whatever but then you went on and did the other thing and then you kind of you just went off and did your own thing and the other guys went on with their own lives you know right. if it was piercing tattooing or whatever the else they're doing and then faded out so it was good it wasn't like you guys didn't um overkill Oh, former members of Fury Five, former members right. of Fury Five, former. Right, you know right, what right. I mean? It kind of right. let it live on what it did, and it then lived on the stories. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's all, what you want. You know what I mean? All, all the antics and all the like, did this really happen? Or you yeah, know what I mean? Like, exactly. You guys beat up this band, and you guys, you know what I mean? Just the just the, the legendary status. Of oh the, yeah, that fucking that shit, dude. Like you know. Like I just told the Finberg story. Ah, uh, you know, well, what, which, which, which Finberg story? Might as well. Which one? Which I, one? When he got knocked out his shoes. Oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, give, give oh, me that one. one. Give these guys. Give everybody. Well, a... you know, Why not? He, he, I, the the story goes, he was our booking agent. You know, he was the biggest was... booking agent at that time. I was at one point too. Yep. He he did every band, you know, and somehow he was interested in booking us. So, but we were doing fine without a booking agent. You understand? So we had played many clubs, QE2, Rhode Island, you know, all the, all the, all, all the main clubs, the Chance and Poughkeepsie, you know, wherever there was a, a like a real club, like the Stone Pony, we yeah. played that and we had good reputation with the, the people that put on the shows. So we went on tour with Integrity or whoever. Yeah, it was Integrity Deviate. <laughs> It was and uh you know we had our thing yeah. out there uh, that's a whole oh, nothing yeah, that's a... <laughs> uh, you know but yeah I, yeah I always, I always apologize to lauren all the time sorry bro man i was different then you know what i mean but you know, so, JJ. So yeah we, we come back from the tour you know no reason to uh no reason to smile had just kind of dropped and uh we were we were coming back and uh there was messages from these clubs saying that yo the guy john finberg who's booking you guys he's trash talking you guys saying that you guys are unprofessional you guys are troublemakers and when we try to explain them we already worked with these guys numerous times you know what i mean so like like why was he trying to undermine us was like dumbfounding you know like because like yeah. you're supposed to be booking us to make money but here you are trying to collapse what we're doing you know so earth crisis was playing the stone pony and he also booked earth crisis Shout so I, earth crisis you know i was talking to carl he was on the stage and carl carl he had he has to be yeah i was i seen it you know what i mean so i'm talking to him and there you you played the stony uh, yeah, stone pony yeah yeah they had the, they had the fence that separated the bar from the stage and i just happened to turn around and i look and i'm like is that John Finberg in my house? And Carl goes stick. Yo, don't, don't, don't do nothing. I said, fucking Finberg, you motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, we went over there. Now, as unrational or, you know, unrational as we were, we tried to be rational because we knew he was a booking, our booking agent. So, like, we did 
taunt the shit out of him, like spit in his face, jacked him up against a fence, and you know we were going. I, I, back and that's forth. what I remember that part. Yeah, we go going back and back and forth, and then uh, somebody calmed us down <laughs> and said, "Listen, let's talk about this." So we're talking about it, and uh, one of our friends, I don't want to put his name out there because, you know, now anybody can make a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? Joe <laughs> Blow. Get- Joe Blow. Let's just say Joe Blow. <laughs> I call him the corporate thug. He knows who he is. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so we're, we're talking, and uh, CT goes, hold up. Let me get something straight here. This is your booking agent? Just like this. He points at him. He said, that's your booking agent? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, he's been going around talking shit about you guys to clubs? And I'm like, yeah. Yo, he just he just turned around and he just crushed him. Crushed him so bad that his shoes stayed in one spot and he slid across the room and hit the fucking wall. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Did this dude just knock out our booking agent? You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, my God. I said, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. And we left. And then the next day, the phone calls came in from around the fucking world. You guys are fucking amazing. You guys are great. We always wanted to do that. Yeah. It, was a, it was like a shot heard around the world. that some, <laughs> They couldn't believe that somebody knocked that motherfucker out, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? Crazy. I forgot about that. I remember I, I remember you re brought up the other part, the 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 first part where you guys were just kind of like with a cat with a mouse kind of like Yeah, we were kind of like taunting them, you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to, you know, you know, intimidating. I mean back then I was 262 pounds yeah. with threads. I was a fucking animal. Yeah. You know what I mean? With like superhuman strength. <laughs> You know, I know. I know, and to be and he know and he and he knew it wasn't like he didn't know either. That's why it's crazy, you know. To- but that's why I don't know why he came to Asbury Park. Like, why would you come to the hometown of the band that you were just talking shit? Did you think these guys were gonna tell us? Is that what you thought? Uh, you know, that oh. that makes sense. You know, because you know Teddy Etall, he was cool with us. You know what I mean? I yeah, the, used to book shows in Rhode Island. Shout and- out to Teddy. Hell yeah, Teddy. Let me. So like Teddy's a fucking still he did one of our 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 latest latest shows in Albany. I want to say the last show we did was a Teddy oh, Tall yeah. show. It was we didn't work. We haven't done some with him in a minute, but he popped up and it was like exactly Yo, blast yeah. in the past. Yo, those QE2 shows were some of the best shows, man. Hell yeah. Albany. That place was so cool with the railing and just it, it had like this Mad Max Terra Dome kind of feel to yeah. it. And in Albany would go off, man. Go oh, off. Yeah. Albany yeah, was, was bro. Uh, Albany was off the hook. Three-hour trek, bro. Even it, it start, it's starting right now. Let me tell you something about Albany. Now it's starting to get that shit again, like that. Like yeah. it, it, you know, got it trickled, trickled away. They always had something. Like the fam always kept it alive, but it trickled smaller because that was like the days. It, tri- but now there's like the last couple of years. Because again, Mike, you know, my brother, Mike, Valenny's killing it. But That's the funny. people, but the scene up right. there are starting to back their bands. Brick That's by true. brick, they're getting a lot, you know, they get a lot of support from the area, which they should. Mike's right. been keeping music alive in that fucking area forever, you know. But they running the clubs that bring the bands, booking right. the clubs, you know, doing security at the clubs and playing in the bands that play with the clubs. You know, it's kind of like, you know, but it's dope that Albany's starting to have that that thing again, and then a lot of guys from our era are coming out again because now yeah. it feels like, yo, they feel comfortable again. It feels again. like that. It feel, if, if, if the vibe stays like it did at that show in New York City yeah. two, three weeks ago, that would be amazing. Yeah. You know, I'd be at mad shows all the time. You I know agree. What I, mean? I felt, you know what it was? It was what do you call that machine to start your heart? That's what it was for a lot of us to restart right. our fucking... It, was, it definitely, it definitely, even my, my wife said the next day, she goes, yo, you seem so giddy right now. I said, yo, yesterday was fucking amazing. I've been into music my whole life, and that's what it was missing yes. for a long time. You know what I mean? It's been missing that. That, <laughs> that vibe, everybody getting along, nobody out there acting like a fucking hard ass trying to hurt somebody. Everybody was just, just... It was just cool. Genuine, I know. Hard, Unexplainable. Hard. You yes. cannot it, put in a word. Like, exactly everything you said is like, 
it's just I, I had that for days. I know you had many people had it. Like I was getting calls from people that were like, I I got people still they're like, yo, I'm still riding that high. Like, yeah. yo, I'm waiting for the next show in my town because yo, and even people that just saw it, look at one of the, the best things that I I felt was like, all right, throughout that day, there was moments throughout that day I felt like tearing up. Not from the set, from the love from seeing people I haven't seen. I yeah. haven't been around that many people. I, I, I needed that. Like, yeah. I I personally needed that. And then oh. seeing, you know, you felt it in the air. Right. You know? And I'm like, do I, but check this out. So, you know, those times I'm like, and I'm like, okay, I also had a real, real rough year. So I'm also thinking like, yo, you know, maybe, you know, okay, I'm just a little extra, extra touchy. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. And then, Randomly from next day and the in the days after one, two, five, six, ten different from close friends to people online. Yo, yo, I don't want to sound crazy, but there was moments, yo, I was tearing up. Another person, yo, when I was on my way home, I was tearing up. People online, I'm getting goose pimples now talking about those people. They right, right. had people email me, yo, I'm watching from Norway, from Germany. Yeah, I was tearing up watching you guys, goose pimples. I wish I you know what that is? I said, okay. I, it was something, it wasn't just in my head that it was a, that something special of a day for our movement. You know what I mean? It's historic. It's you know, historic. It's- always be remembered because of the time that we're in right now and the whole game of control yes. and guys were the first ones to say, we got, we got to be the guys that, that step up and let people know this is freedom. This is hardcore. This is how it's got to be. You know what I mean? You got to stand up against the powers that be. And they don't do that anymore. People don't, people are singing songs. And this is why I don't like any bands. You know what I mean? Because I can see through the bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know who the real motherfuckers are. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I talk about it all the time. If there's anything I learned from being locked up, I know how to read people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I that's the game, through, yeah. I can see right through your fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? And people are saying things. I hear it on the radio all the time because you're an artist. I'm an artist. I pay attention to everything. I know all the new rappers. You know what I mean? I know all the new bands. I try to give it a chance. But what they're saying, they don't mean. They're just throwing it out there to get a like or a vibe or get a, 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 you know, uh, an advertisement from YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, they they don't mean. You know what I mean? They do not mean what the fuck they say. And that's why I love you guys. Because you guys, not just because I know you. Listen, when you guys played the other day, I was a fucking fanboy. No, you know what no. I mean? Like, I was a fanboy. I was like, yes. You know what I mean? I felt like, wow, this is fucking, this is my shit in heaven and hell. Set I needed to see you. And I saw you like that. I was like, I got am because I said that. He's feeling what I'm, I know he feels exactly how I feel. And I'm glad because I know I'm bugging now because it was like some electric shit going through people. Yeah, it, yeah, you know it was I mean? definitely a, there was an energy there that's a, that has been missing for for a very very long time. The energy came back in the '90s a little bit, but got destroyed by violence, especially through the 2000s. The, yeah. You know, 2000 to two, two, that 2010. You know, it was a you know, and you didn't even see ha- any of those people there. There was none of the fucking tattooed up faces yeah. out there trying to fucking maim kids for no fucking reason. You know yeah. what I mean? running around with fucking chairs. And yeah, yeah. Pop, you know what I mean? Like, wh- why Why are you coming to a show and trying to hurt the people that are supporting your boy's band? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That never made any sense to me, yeah. ever. You know? Yeah. But, you know, but now, hopefully, the spark that you guys just started will continue to keep that vibe and that hardcore energy alive that, that you know, yeah. that that used to be in the 80s. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but the but the, the difference is is the mentality of the kids and the way we came up compared to the way these kids are coming up. These kids are coming up. There's no struggles. You know what I mean? There is no struggle. We come from a struggle where we had to work hard for everything we got. We had to push ourselves. We had to make flyers. We had to make you demos. Had to find shit. You had, we had to, to yeah. drive miles and miles to a show and hand out demos for free. There's none of that. Now you put your shit on the internet. Yeah, and that's it. And it's over. You know what I mean? I I tell motherfuckers all the time. I go, I used to, when Demise came out, 
I was the king of walking up and down that line. Five songs, five dollars. This is the hardest shit out. That was my my slogan, selling yeah. demos. Because me, Beto remembers, we used to, I used to stay up all night, two tape deck recorders yeah, before going to school. I used to do the same thing from Locked Up in Life, Position of Power, yeah. Fury of Five. We go up and down the boardwalk, just hand out tapes to people, go to shows. You know what I mean? Like, I did it my whole life, you know? I know. But Crazy. I, I, and I'm not hating on the internet or none of that. I'm just saying. I know the you mentality, mean, though. The mentality of the kids, they have no issues. You know what I mean? They don't have nothing to write about. They got nothing to cry about. They got everything they want. They got the brand new Jordans. They got the iPhone 12. They got the Xbox or the PlayStation. You know what I mean? They, Things that I like, I had to go to my friend's house to play because I couldn't afford one. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. There's a, you know, there's nothing for these kids to really sing about. So they make shit up. They don't mean it. It's all lies and a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anything I wrote in my songs, I meant that shit came yeah. from my heart, and I would bring it to you if I if I had to. You know what I mean? I make it come live if yeah. you wanted that way. You know what I mean? And sometimes it did happen. You know when I say, "Yo, those who want some, come and get it." I meant yeah, that shit. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You, you know, you could bring I, you, whole crew, your whole family. I don't give a big, you bring the police. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, like, nah, I'm yeah. going to get it. You know what I mean? Like, you, that, the, you know what? Fun. The thing that's good now, and I'm noticing it because, you know, I, I'm one of those guys too. And I, since I'm in a band, I get to see everything as it's growing and I keep my ear to the street. So I know what's, what, what's happening. Yeah, right now, my- there's a new movement. I'm seeing it with New York hardcore bands. And I, and I ain't just saying it for that because I hope it's everywhere. But there's this new wave coming up. And they're coming up with our mentality. And you know what? I'm, I, 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 I'm trying to give our guys in our era some credit. The guys doing things that now with these platforms, the, the youth got people. All right. We, they, they, you're not going to get um, um, you ain't going to get um, um, somebody, to, uh, an OG to put you on from hanging out drinking 40s on the corner no more. Okay, now everything is like this. So now if you get your information through podcasts and interviews, let it be that way. But now they could see right. the guys that built that shit talking to them, you know what right. I mean? And, and acknowledging them because that's all we, you know, when we young, we just want to be acknowledged. Right. You know what I mean? Not just talk to, but like heard also, you know what I mean? That's right. You know, I'm looking at, you know, Beto's sons in a band called Reaching Out. Yeah. Got like, it got a cast of hardcore family, like parents. Yeah. All the kids are hardcore based. And I've been looking out for those guys and trying to give them a little push because I have the platform. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and I did a song with them, probably the most positive lyrics I ever wrote in my life. <laughs> and I don't write positive because if you hear that song and hear the departed song, it's like night and day. And uh, you know, I really went went all out for these kids and put in and it put put a lot of thought into the song and try to make it because they want to be that youth crew and yeah you know oh I mean? yeah listen i grew up on youth crew side by side uh, we did too i always say it on here we all did that was part of every, hardcore was everything back then yes everything every 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 i loved all of it it was straight edge or ludicrous or you know what i'm saying exactly punk, you know what i mean like Every aspect of that, I, I loved it, and I tried to put it in a song for for them, and and it did pretty good, you know. We, we did it live, uh, you know, a month ago or so, and, and yeah, no, and I I see him, and that's dope, like, cause my sons want no part of this shit. I, I try to show them, look, look, they're like, okay, can we leave? Yeah, my my <laughs> son, my son, he, he Jordan, he he didn't uh, he, he he likes some of the music, but he wants to rap, so yeah, and he's got lyric, he got a lyrical gift, and I was shocked. But that that I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm shocked, but but his wordplay was very impressive to me. Yeah, you know I was taken back. I was like, wow, this kid has got some lyrics. You know, Good. some of the stuff he was saying I wasn't really into, but he's going into the studio. Uh, but that's dope doing music. You know what I mean? He's going in the studio Sunday to do uh, an EP with Len. Oh, and, so dope. Uh, so hopefully, you know, he wants to he wants to find himself. I said, well, if you sing from the heart and just be yourself, it's going to okay. sell. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, your voice will be there because you're into it. You can't yeah. be, I know rap is fabricated, uh, fabricated, but, like, you know, to a degree, but if you be real with it and yeah, be yeah. yourself, it will sell. You know For what I mean? Sure. So I'm going to go in the studio with him, try to direct him a little bit, and, you know, see what happens, you know? But he's yeah. a good... That's good yeah. to know. You, this is the thing. 
you know, uh, this is what I tell a lot of older guys too, because um, a lot of people just want to hate on, on this new generation because there is a lot of sucker shit in the new gen- generation, but it ain't always their fault. It's some right. of, a lot of it's our fault that our generation guys weren't. I'm, See, I'm, I'm schooling these motherfuckers. We were showing them the way. And, 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 and now we're, we're, we're now we got to, you know, we got to take what happened, you know, and now we got to work with it and then try to like, you know, now we got to see it. I, I learned this technique from the AF guys. They never shitted on the you, the young guys. Uh, they always show love. They never um, excluded anybody. Because right. of the age or well, what color, they were always like, yo, you here for the show, you're here for the let's go. And then exactly. and that's what and, and 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 that and that takes the age out of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Do that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. now now you're the you're same. Because like when I look, you know, somebody shot some video footage with me singing with reaching out. Yeah. And when you look at that footage, you can't tell how old anybody is. Yeah. You just a bunch of dudes and girls. Because there's girls in the band, yeah, yeah, and we're, of course. And we and we jamming out, and we we and we're delivering a message, and we're putting it out there, and we're getting feedback because the, the crowd is singing along, and that's hardcore. Oh you know? yeah, you're reaching your message is reaching the people, and if you don't have a message, you're not going to reach anybody. So you know what I mean. Yeah. So, and, but, and 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 again, but, but, and that's why, I like again, I say. Well, like you doing that with reaching out and you also being around and being vocal with, with, around being an older, older guy from the scene, especially represent Jersey guy. I always say it, guys like Drew Stone with his show, you know, Ezek with his podcast. You know, we're out there giving you different things. Also letting you know we out here still. We, you know, we still in it. We still love this shit. We live it. We may have our, our opinions on shit, but we wouldn't be vocal if we didn't love it, you know, and still be around it. You know, we would just live in a cave. I can't, you can't leave it alone if it's inside you. You know exactly, what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Like, I can't do it to the caliber that I once did. You know what exactly. I mean? But I'm still there. Yeah. I go to shows. I go support Wisdom and Chains all the time. I come out for you guys. Yeah. You know, I'm out for reaching out. I'm going to the yeah. show. We're departed. That's my homies. They're going to be a whole bunch of bands playing down in South Jersey. You know what I mean? No. So, you know, I, I go to these shows. Like, I went to the, the two shows that they had in South Jersey. Yep. Uh, you know, because I want to let people know I'm still here. Yeah, you know, like I still support. You know what I mean? If it's a, if 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 it's for a cause, I'm with it. You know what I mean? Exactly. And this crazy time we live in. All these shows was a cause, but yeah. your show that it happened in New York City was whoo. Yeah. Wow. That it was, was you know, I, was, I, I it was just uh it like like um, um Jorge Masvidal says it was super necessary. You know for for. <laughs> It Mental was health every for sure for the scene for everybody. Yo, I just needed to see yo that hug I gave you. That shit, I needed that. Like I, I have it for, in general for yeah, people. Wife, I was like, my dude. wife was yo. That is the the picture of the day. Oh uh, yeah, you know? that was a picture of the deck. And you know how many people hit me and like you don't know. It's like this is just amazing. Like people DM me with the picture and just like. But you know what it was? It was just a genuine happiness. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, you know why? Because we're not. We're people. We're not meant to social distance. I know. You know what I mean? So, like, we we socialize. There's nothing. When you say social distancing, that don't even make sense. That's like I, an oxymoron. I, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, like, I we're know. supposed to socialize, not distance. You I can't know. put two words together. That's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? As big as, as gorillas as we are, we want to be touched and grabbed and scratched. Yeah. We're gorillas. You know, we're, like, supposed to be. Climbing on each other. Hardcore, hardcore hugs and dance. Yeah. Like, you want to be with your people, you know? Like, that don't make no sense to me. Like, you you can Listen, I never even social distance at all, so I I, I, don't, I, I never got that concept. You know, I never yeah. wore the mask only for work because I have to. Yeah, when or, you have to. Yeah, I wear when I have to go to the store or some shit. Like, you go to my house with a mask on, you take that fucking shit off. <laughs> you know, listen, I'm not an affection, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know what the government got you tricked on yeah. but yo i'm a person you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah if you're gonna catch something it's gonna be from the government putting it in something and that's yeah. how the virus started anyway you idiot you yeah. know what i mean you're not gonna catch it from me in a sneeze <laughs> like i got real bad allergies i'm walking around like <laughs> like is this guy turning into a zombie like yeah yeah on, like man. no motherfucker pollen season <laughs> they forgot about that shit <laughs> you know that people are crazy man I, I don't know how how especially hardcore kids man like I don't know how they got so gassed up and like 
pro really, government. Like what? Out of what? all things, you know, people. So, like I got, you know, I, I got a slew of hardcore old school, and Ludacris came on the song "Government Kids," and it was like, yo, it just fit for this time. I'm like, wow, you know yeah. what I mean? I was gonna post it, like go on YouTube and try to find it, but nobody listens to lyrics like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just sad. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's true. It's you know, you know, again, um. All I could, all we could keep saying is like, yo, f- free thinking, be open minded. In other words, don't follow nothing. Think for yourselves. Yo, that's people don't go and do research. You yeah. know what I mean? Like what I was saying from the beginning, humanity has survived more diseases without science, technology, medicine. You know what I mean? Internet. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Humanity's still growing. I just said it the other day. It's been almost four weeks from that show, and the population's still here. Like, hello, educate yourself. Yeah. Like, cuz Joe, he got it down to a science, bro. Yeah, cuz is, is, is a nut. He's wilding. He, cuz I'm like, yo, motherfucker, I'm about to let him give me like do heart surgery or something. Cause I'm like, he motherfucker yeah. does mad research. But he does he does research. Yeah, you know, what I mean? and that's. That's what's missing. People are just taking this information from Facebook, which is they're mostly made up. Even even my wife, Jen, she she uh, I'll say something like, let's not even say COVID. I'll it'll say something about uh, let make up a top, let me abortion or something, whatever. Yeah. And I'm she was like, well, what's the news source? <laughs> so I read it. Oh, that's a that's a fake news thing. She already knows what news sources are the real ones and you know what i mean so like you don't need like if you're getting your information from facebook you're an idiot (laughs) yeah (laughs) just educate yourself you can just research his look at history and see uh the bombarded plague and and whatever you know polio or whatever yep humanity's still growing it still grow grows even Yo, know, people have to die. It's part of life, man. Yeah. I'm not going to say nobody died from the flu, but I'm going to say they they pushed those numbers up way yeah. more. Yeah, than yeah. Because- I, I, yeah, for sure. You know, we all, there's definitely a lot of fuckery going on. And again, I'm the furthest thing from a doctor, but I know one thing, you know, um, you know, uh, diabetes had run in my family. Thank God I don't got none of that shit, you know, all that shit. But I know one thing is this, that um, they're, they're telling people because of this, you don't do this. Don't do that. You can't do this because of this um, um, uh, um, um, COVID shit. But you know how many people die of diabetes every year? Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And right now at 7-Eleven, there's 500 kinds of M&Ms. There's 300 exactly. kinds of Hershey bars. Exactly. Well, that's what I, I, I I've always said. If this was about Same. health, they would yes. stop cigarettes. They'll stop selling fucking alcohol. They would get rid of fast food, you yeah. know, all, all the it's things. True. It's a fact. Diseases and problems and death. You know what I mean? Yo, listen, the cartels killed more people than the fucking flu. You know what I mean? But they don't talk about that. You know what I'm saying? And that's uh-huh. a fact. You can research that and see the numbers. You know what I'm saying? It, that, again, same thing I tell people. I don't even need to know. them. just put a year and put deaths. With, uh, with diabetes and, or in heart disease and put and smoking. How about that? Just put smoking Smoke. in fucking 2015. You know, how many people died of, of that? You know, it's it's ridiculous numbers. So how about again. the people that smoking and put a mask on? Yeah, oh, there's a, uh, even more. I know guys that, that like ate dirty hooker assholes and then they want to talk about put a mask on and worried about cleaning their hands. I'm like, you're the same dude that was doing lines off some freaking, some hookers freaking... <laughs> Exactly. Snatch. Yo, and people, now you worried about like they're same. just crazy yo. they're crazy they, they have no they, they're not free thinkers you know we're artists so we're always going to have an open mind and research things and bring it in and let it marinate and then we come up with a you know a logical explanation for something these people are, don't have no logic at all you know what i mean it's crazy People yeah. are crazy. People are like, crazy. Like, do dude smoke a cigarette and put a mask on? <laughs> I'm worried about COVID and not cancer? That don't make no sense to me. And uh, nope. they don't. They don't know. They don't know. That's the same people that they tell me, you know, you're a super. How could you play that? You super spreader. I hope you and your family dies of COVID. I'm like, wait a minute. I got my GED, but is there something wrong in that that whole scenario right there? 
people are crazy, man. They're getting two shots, still wearing face shields. I'm like, what are you? You got you got like mega shots, and you got this. Why? But, okay, but I'll why? say this: I, I don't mind the mask because because a lot of these motherfuckers are ugly. You know, I, and I'll be equal opportunity, women and men. A, a lot of uglies. So the mask thing, I don't mind if that shit stays sometimes, you know? Man, trying to hide the smile, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I ain't talking about <laughs> you or me. I, mean, yeah, I, I, I paid $26,000. Yeah, exactly. So I, I want my money's worth. Uh, oh, yeah. But, I have a reason to smile now. You know what listen, I mean? Listen, I hear you. Listen, I cut so many calories. I'm rocking a banana hammock in the summer, like it or not. Dude, you yeah, look crazy. Dude. Oh, you look Thank you. Trying, I'm trying. I need. I'm again. I'm trying to get on that stick man shit. You know what I mean? Oh man, I, well, right before you, I, I, I was on. Uh, I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I just did the almost 17 miles before I came on here. Insane. I was just gonna ask you. So you rode. You at 17. Insane. You crazy. But that's good. So that's it. Usually I would ride outside, but I knew I was gonna do this with you, so I didn't want to be like in the woods doing. So you it rode so in. Yeah, I see you with the stationary. Yeah, I rode the stationary, That's but it's dope. riding outside. It's 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 a real good training program, and, and I got a real top notch trainer. Yeah, uh, and you're looking good too. You're looking freaking like I can tell you, you your lungs could probably go for days. Oh, dude, my my endurance is uh, the best it's ever been. You know, I, it was not as when I had the cancer on my arm. I didn't know how bad it was affecting my health. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know it was cancer. I thought it was like. Uh, uh, a staph infection, I don't yeah. know, a psoriasis or, you know, something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, and then when I, you know, it was kept on growing and bleeding. And then uh, Jen's like, well, you should go to the doctor and really get it checked out. Soon as I walked in, he was like, that's cancer. I was like, what? Yeah. He said, now we got to find out if it's benign yeah. or uh, the other one. And it came back benign. And once I got that removed, my health improved. But I was eating, I, I, I was vegan for a while, then I got a new job, and then uh, I couldn't find food. I was working a lot of overtime, and um, uh, I went right back to plant-based when I found out it was cancer. Yeah. And my endurance after, you know, I healed and stuff, and I still have cancer spots, but they went dormant since I changed my diet. Oh, God. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. They're not, like, flaring off or, like, Yep, yep. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. So, so I haven't really went to get those removed because they haven't really done nothing but uh my endurance is through the roof man i can ride for freaking miles i'll give john joseph a run for his yeah, money yeah yeah we might have to make that <laughs> shit happen on smoking word tv no, he everybody posted, he just posted on uh on instagram he got like a kit that's got like the age of quarrels uh on the on the, the explosion uh, on his yeah on his yeah, body. yeah. It's riding gear. I was like, yo, I want one of those. Yeah, gear. yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to make the watch out, Casa the Rock might start fucking bootlegging fucking. <laughs> yeah, how was that doing? doing, Good. doing yeah, just money. hustle. You know, it's hustling. You know, I do I try to do it as you can see. But um, you know, I do that. I try, you know, you there's always the you know, thank God you shout out to everybody out there who's been supporting, you know. I guess, you know, out there, everybody, everybody, um, I got to say a lot, even during this whole pandemic shit, a lot of people stepped up with everybody, like support. Right. If you, people had work, people were stepping up doing a lot of people did cool shit for the bands. You yeah, know, um, cool. shout out to Ohio Pie. These yep. guys would do that. Was, that was, that, that's very like heartbreaking, you know, like all, all these people that like like you, you, Madball and like bands that just like tour to to make a living. Yeah, they just shut it down like, Rough. wow, it you know, hard, and I, I, I was very. I was very grateful, you know, that, that I've been out of the, the game for a minute and that, you know, I didn't suffer like that through, through, um, you know, yeah. the main part of the COVID. I mean, I lost like two weeks of work and, but you know, yeah, no, no, that's good. And believe I, me, I was, I was psyched for people, my people that had work. Cause I was like, yo, they could, we could all be fucked. Cause a lot of people got yeah. fucked. And what I saw was a lot, you know, a lot of my, you know, my own people were buying stuff you know what right. I mean? Looking at, and I felt it from them. And also a lot of people, you just, and not even with just Casa, but you know, all the bands, I could tell people right. show love. Like this brought people together playing that show Saturday, brought people apart and together. But right. at the end of the day, for the best, everything well, happened all, for the best. All, all the shows did was separate the real from the fake. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's all that really did. But that exactly. needs to happen every once in a while. You know, yeah. you have to, let's see. like in the but Godfather. I, 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 
I got me a nice bottle of your uh, alcohol, bro. With ah, yeah, cover, dope, dude. the dope, the dope, dope piece collector, right? I, yeah, I got the collector one, I got, and I got the Ignacio front one come too. Yeah, I'm, I'm I want the AF one because I love the fucking it came, the AF one looks sick. You know, like that. Like, yeah, I didn't see. It. I know uh, Jen ordered it. So hey, listen, but, it's ill. It looks dope. The the well, AF one. Yours, the cover was all broke, but Mike sent us another one. Good, another yeah. yeah. Good. But that yeah, no, cool. but good. So wh- right now, so what's the next thing? So you just riding, working, and then so what's the, any you know what? How come what people should look well, out I, I for, the, for the stick man? I got the music bug again. You know what I mean? Because of that show, you know, like you know, I I, I got a lyrical gift. You know, uh, I would like to you know, I would like to do so. I was thinking about doing like uh, today it was kind of funny to even say that, like doing uh, like like stick man, like top 10 hardcore covers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like uh, like songs like that's songs. a dope idea, dude. I know. I, I think I, I you know, I was going to ask Beto if he wanted to, you know, help me with it. Maybe Richie Crutch like. My t- I, I would pick my t- t- uh, top 10 songs of hardcore that that really made me who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and you know, cover them, you know, the, the way I would want to cover them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how we did the biohazard cover, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, in a, in a, in a stick man fashion, you know? You know what? That, 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 That's that, that, a that, real I, dope I, idea. That today because I was <clears> listening <throat> to... I was listening to what song was it? Um, Cats in the Cradles, and uh, I love that song. And that, uh, and this brings me back to what we were talking about before with depression. That song would make me cry anytime I heard it. Anytime I heard that song, I would cry because of my dad. I didn't really know him. Just from through violence. That's the only ha- that's the only thing that I remember from my father, and he left us at a very young age. So that song always resonated to me. If you listen to the lyrics, yeah. the guy's like talking to his dad. The dad goes away. The kid's looking for his dad. The dad goes away. Then the kid grows up and does the same thing to his dad. And that's and I always wanted to like find my dad and just I don't even know if I would have pieced up with him, but I always wanted to know why. You know, yeah. the question why. And uh, I always wanted to cover that song, but I found out he had died when he was like 43 or mm-hmm. something like that. And uh, when I found that out, I got the closure and then I heard the song and I have never shed a tear since. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy how that works. Yeah. Because you know why? Because now I can't answer, ask, ask him the questions that I want. So now I know it's a dead situation. Mm. And I got my closure because yeah. now I'll never know and it's over and I let it go. You know what yeah. I mean? But when I when I was telling, you know, Doc and it was supposed to be in a Fury of Five book that was being written that like my dad was a drummer. And that's why I always think I took out. My anger on drummers, because I always had a problem with all my drummers uh-huh. and everything, you know what I mean? But Chris really caught the brunt of it yeah and that because you know as my anger grew because my depression i was inflicting more yeah you were peaking at that time too That's yeah, I was, was, that yeah but people were like vibing off the violence coming for the violence you know yeah. what i mean so like i was that guy yeah. and i was bringing that violence everywhere we went you know and it just you know it just collapsed the band but yeah i'm thinking about doing the stick man uh, top 10, you know what I mean? Hardcore songs. I say you do it. I think that's a good idea, especially now. Like, it ain't you trying to, you know, it's a good angle. You, It's you and doing something like that. And it, it, again, it rehashes old songs. It gives a new angle. I, I think that's a real dope idea. Vibe, you know, I mean, that that show really, really, you know, sparked a lot of things for me because, you, you know, you've been in, in the hardcore as long as I and, uh, you know, I have a lot of love for it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it, it's a great ventilation for anger and just feelings and emotions. You know what I mean? And and we're, and we're all we're all the same people. Yeah. You know what I mean? As crazy as it was, I I was always a good dude. You know what I mean? Like I was, like yeah. People say I'm an asshole, but I'm not technically a asshole yeah. in that sense. You know what I mean? If you were disrespectful to me. Yeah, then I became an asshole and 
and, and I addressed Listen, it. Listen, we were all good dudes, just we weren't perfect. You know what yeah. I mean? We were just rough around the edges. And when you got around that, you saw if you got around that roughness, you saw that the 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 how the quality of the fucking the heart under that fucking exterior, you you would you would deal with it because yeah. It, well, what matters, we were all what, what mattered. We were all we were all built with the same thing that mattered it was heart. You right. know what I mean? What female, male, whoever, whoever was around in, in our circle, then we looked out for each other again. Yeah. It mattered on some tough guy shit, female, male to the girl, everybody. If you were in our circle and you rooted for each other, we because we all had the same, we were on the same brain, um, brain wave. And that's how it felt like that day. Very special day, you yeah. know. We we live we live it. You know what I mean. We we we're hard to the core. You know what I'm saying. Like yeah. we came from nothing and we made a path. You know what I'm saying. And sometimes you had to make a left. Sometimes you had to make a right. Sometimes you went straight. You know yeah. what I mean. So you you just figure it out as you go. As long as you're learning from the mistakes. You know. And, exactly. And now that I'm getting you know older and and I have more clarity in my my life i see things a lot different yeah. and approach things a lot different and people know that i'm different beto is a well, uh, talks about all the time he he'll say like see somebody that know me from way back hasn't seen me in years and be like yo stick man is not even the same person <laughs> yeah yeah you know what i mean like you you you, you might actually like him you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> you know so like you know, you know Listen, we, we live and we live. Yeah, look, at, I'm glad I'm I'm glad not only first of all, I'm glad you were there that day. Like I said, I fed off that power. I'm glad, you know, you still around. I'm glad I got to get you on the show. And if it fell into place at the right time, because I've been wanting to. But right now is the right time, even because that show. And again, we come from the same time frame, same era. And I, I and I knew we were feeling this. We were on the same wave. I just wanted to fucking touch base. It was it was a, definitely a great wave, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, oh yeah, that was a tidal wave. We were on that on some and other I, shit. I, and I didn't even say hello to as many people as I wanted to. Even John Joseph said, "I went to say hi to John Joseph," and I said, "Yo, what's up, John?" But he was in the mix of something. And I guess he didn't hear me. And I didn't yeah, want just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a harasser, you know. I'm not gonna, you know. But you know, next time, I, you know. Yeah, we'll it's all good. That's but that's the best. People, you know, Jimmy Gustavo. You know, I didn't. I didn't see. I, I talked to a lot of people. You know what I mean? But that, yeah, me neither. I, I saw. I, I, it was insane, dude. It exactly. The the uh, main point of that was exactly like you just said. We'll see him next time. Now we feel like okay. Now we could kind of see him next time. That yes. was the whole point of that yes. shit. Yes. Stick man, I love you. I'm glad you came on. Everybody, I want. I'm waiting for that Fury of Five shit. Jay Fury. I'm calling you. I don't even know if you listen to this, but you, my man. I always used to say that. No, he listens because you, you were, uh, you were doing uh, A to Z or something. Yeah, I don't know yeah, yeah. And you, and you shouted out Fury of Five from, you know. Always, uh, yeah, yeah. And Jay, man, and he told me about it. He yeah, said yeah. The link. He said, "Yo, Hoya gave us a shout out." I said, "You did?" I said, "Where?" He said, "On his podcast." I think I'm saying. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, because I haven't heard from him in a while, and, and I used to kick it with Jay a lot when we. I'd be at the shows, I'd be chilling with him. So it was yeah. good when I would hear he kind of pop back up and around. Like, oh shit, Jay! I haven't yeah. heard that name. You know, a, I, he wants to do the Fury thing. So like, like I, like I said before, like if, if it's not Chris, then hopefully it'll be Riggs or yeah. something. And and and, and, and we want Chris, but Rig Ross will definitely murk it. You know oh, what I mean? Target, he man. And he looks in kind of the same way, redheaded yeah. motherfuckers, right? Same freckled yeah. red it's motherfuckers. Right. right in with us, you know what I mean? You know, right. he, he, got yeah. the, he got the rhythm and the vibe. Oh, uh, the killer, one of the best, you know, again, yeah. one of the best. But yo, He's stick a- again. I'm glad I got you on. One love to you and your fam. I'm gonna talk to you real soon. This shit's gonna drop Thursday. I'll send uh, you the, the all yes. the info. And um, maybe when Fury gets together, I want to do one with all Fury. How about that? So you heard it, Jay. Don't make me come to fucking Jersey and find you. I know the zip code. I know people. But yo, one love stick, man. We out and we'll talk, all right? Thank you, brother. I love you, man. One love. Love you, stick. One. All right. All right. Thank you, man.